Now what is a heat pump? Okay, this is kind of a simple one for those that don't know much about pumps, just to kind of explain the theory behind it. Now I'm not going to do uh, diagrams, there's a lot of really good diagrams on YouTube, you can look up any of those. I'm just going to show you on a machine what, what we're talking about, what a heat pump does. Okay, if you've ever in the summertime walked by an air conditioner that looks similar to this, and put your hand right here. The air coming out was warm. Sometimes it's pretty hot. Well, that's because the air conditioner isn't really making cold, it's moving heat. It's taking heat from inside, putting it in the refrigerant, and then it's rejecting it outside. Well, quite a while back, somebody got the uh, great idea that you could actually turn this thing around backwards. And that hot air that you're seeing going outside would actually go inside. It would warm the structure. Now you say, well, okay, if it's cold outside, let's say it's 40 degrees outside, how am I going to make it warm inside? Well, heat is simply BTUs. The temperature Temperature is just the intensity of the heat. It isn't really the heat. The heat is BTUs or calories, whichever, wherever you're coming from. And those, uh, those BTUs, if they're added together, will increase the temperature. So at 40 degrees outside, you may say, well, there's no heat out there. But there is heat out there. And if I take and lower the temperature of the air, like I'm looking at this coil here, this is a flat coil. I'm drawing air from underneath and up through it. If I've drawn 40 degree air through that and I change the temperature of that air by 10 degrees, I have moved, removed BTUs from the air that's moving through it. So I'm going to take those BTUs and I'm going to take them inside. Okay, so here we're looking at an indoor air handler. This is an electric furnace right behind there. There's a blower underneath, and there's an air conditioning coil down here. Okay, so I'm going to take that heat that I absorbed outside, and I'm going to put it into this coil here and release those BTUs into the house. And so as I add those BTUs to, say, Let's say my return air temperature, the air coming into this coil, is 70 degrees. And if I take it, add those BTUs that I absorb from outside through this coil here, then my air coming out will be warmed by the BTUs putting in it, so it's going to raise the temperature up above what the uh, return air is coming back as and heats the home. So let's look at what makes this all happen. So when I'm out here at the outdoor unit again, I'm looking, I got a fan and then I got a compressor that's making this thing run. I have to run those electricity. And so electricity can be changed into BTUs. There's a formula for changing it into BTUs. And let's say I put 10,000 BTUs of electrical energy into this thing. Well, conceivably, I could get 30,000 BTUs out of it because I'm not making heat from combustion or something like that. I'm actually just transferring it. Now, that sounds like it's great and, you know, it's the solution to all energy problems in the world, but it really isn't but it does create a higher efficiency if I'm comparing it to a fuel such as just electricity. I, if I had just electricity to heat with, the heat pump would be more efficient. Uh, generally, it ends up being about twice as efficient as electric heat. And if other fuels are very expensive and electricity is fairly cheap, then uh, they will do pretty well on efficiency. But that's how the heat pump 
what it does you know kind of in a nutshell I'll be doing lots more videos on pumps and how they actually work as you know in operation and the different uh, service issues you have with them so that's all for this one right now